Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil, and today I want to discuss a little bit about the Kansas City Chiefs and Raiders game that the Dallas Cowboys had, and how we just looked terrible and just really out of sync, and it gives a lot of hope to Philly fans, because even when we lose, they feel like somehow they beat us, even though they forget that we beat them 40-something, uh, but... At to the side, let's talk a little bit about this past couple of games and where Dallas has looked really bad and how they can get back on track. All right, guys, let's talk about some of the crazy talk and try to put that out of the way very early in the conversation. And I think that really crazy talk comes with the referees. Now, I know that when you really look back in the season and you look at all the games that played, you don't really see what happened in the game. And you just kind of complain while it's happening because you see these pass interference calls, these really phantom calls from these referees where I wonder what the evaluation is of some of these people like do they even ask what teams they actually root for and stuff and because if you have bad people in any kind of job this kind of sums it up because at some point Dallas and this is where the crazy talk comes is they need to be able to have a lawsuit against the NFL and even the referees for a better evaluation because a lot of your games get thrown off and all it gets thrown in there is well we're sorry that it happened but guess what sorry only goes so far and those sorries won't cut it when the Dallas Cowboys have to go to the playoffs and even when they do are they a better playoff type of team I, I'm not even sure but when you look at the past game I mean you had your top two pass rushers and your top two wide receivers out so it doesn't help that the referees are throwing pass interference calls and a ref on phantom plays and you have anthony brown actually with four pis it's just all over the place and it's just something that needs to be calmed down and it, it, evaluation needs to be totally different but let's actually talk about what the dallas cowboys part has to do and go forward on that So as we focus on the Dallas Cowboys and what they need to do, honestly, the first thing they need to do is just get healthy. We got guys on our defense. We got guys on our offense. They're all hurt. People are being switched around. People are having to step up. And this has been the kind of the theme all year with people actually stepping up and actually doing the job. But people like Dorrance Armstrong, other guys, they haven't been able to step up consistently. You know, Terrell Basham. So the defense only has one playmaker on there, and that's Micah Parsons. And when you got guys like Gregory and Lawrence that aren't here, those are our two top pass rushers. And when you look at the past couple of games when Gregory was there, he was the one that was getting the pressure. He was the one that was getting the sack. And when prior to that, obviously in seasons, when you look at it, Demarcus Lawrence was that guy. And so you hope once you get those guys back that the defense kind of steps up. But Parsons is the only one that's really making plays. You got a guy like Trayvon Diggs out in the, in the, in the backfield. But honestly, like you can only go so much when you're a corner following a receiver. So he does allow plays. But again, he's still learning, but still a good guy on our defense. The other corners and stuff are just average. And, and it is okay to have that kind of thing. They're pretty good corners. It's just that you need the pressure in order to get the interceptions. And you're just not getting the pressure right now because guys are disappearing and they're not showing up. So the first thing they need to do is just get healthy and hopefully stay healthy getting into the playoff ready system because can we make that push? Right now, Philly is going up. Washington's going up. We're kind of going down and we don't, we have inconsistent play. And I'm amazed that Dallas was able to drive the ball and get 33 points in this previous game against the Raiders, but the Raiders, they just looked very comfortable and kind of just drove it down the field when they wanted to and was kind of playing around. And, and it just didn't really look like they were struggling too much. And, and they were getting calls from the referee, like a Micah Parsons uh, roughing the passer when he was running and he fell forward. But then Dak Prescott in the exact same thing where he gets hit after he's thrown the ball and no calls or anything like that. So it's like, it's not consistent. And so the healthiness needs to, you just with those guys back they will knock people out they will hit people they will be able to strike down the field with amari cooper think about cooper man times where you think that we need to move the ball cooper is usually there getting wide open so that guy is very much missed and unfortunately it's a bad situation of why he put us in that situation but it's something that he's gonna have to live with and honestly as a fan i am not down on these guys it's just this is how football seasons work these are how championships are, are, are formed. And, and yeah, this team is really, really good. And, and, and honestly, we're showing some a lot of promise. But remember where they were last year. And you've only added rookies on. And yes, those rookies were making plays. But you got guys like Jabril Cox. You got guys that were going down with injuries and stuff like that. So injuries, again, the number one thing we need to get over.
The one thing I really need to address, and I wasn't on the bandwagon before, but I have to get onto it now, is Greg the Leg. This guy reminds me a lot of Vanderjack when he came in. A great field goal kicker, and he's going to solve all our problems. But honestly, we've lost some games because of his inconsistent kicking. And, and I want to give it to him early in the season when he had backer injuries. But with Dallas, I mean, come on, guys. You guys have three kickers that you guys bring in, and that is it. You have a kicker at every single college in the country and you can't bring in 15 to 20 guys to try to just start kicking field goals to find out who you can put on your team i mean yes you might have a day or two or what else but you only bring in three guys it's a rotation like a recycling thing it's it just it's crazy and to not have somebody on the practice squad already oh we won't want to give up that spot what well, looks like you need to give up that spot because the kicking is really losing some games those two games right there that they it could have been another way and we could just be two games lost so that needs to be addressed, and they need to really think about changing that because it really seemed like a Vanderjack situation. So again, the injuries is, again, what it all rotates around. And this defense and this offense and the special teams, it's injuries, injuries, injuries. And I wouldn't be surprised if all of a sudden one of our coach pulls something and he gets an injury of some kind. So injuries just, it, it just sneaking up in every single category, and whether it's the passing game, the running game, the rushing off defense the the uh, secondary it's all over the place the injuries are a problem and even in our special teams and so we just need to sp change all that greg the leg injuries all that kind of stuff all that So that right there, guys, just some of the frustration that I have on this team. I think this team has a lot of potential and it can go very far, but it's only going to go as far as the starters that are out is going to allow us to. Because honestly, if guys like Demarcus Lawrence end up coming back and he's out with an injury like two or three games in, it does no good. Gregory, I think I have a little bit more of a faith in and hopefully that he can stay a little bit healthier. But calf injuries have kind of been reeling this team. It's kind of been wondering what kind of training has been going on that has been a consistent thing. So again, if we can get past some of that stuff or maybe even change some special team stuff, we can get past this. And, and I know a lot of people have those, those frustrations of guys like Anthony Brown, but we're not going to do anything. We're not going to pick somebody up out of nowhere that, that this is the team that we have going forward. So we just kind of need to suck it up and try to root for these guys, even though Anthony Brown is a liability at times, and but he has been stepped up. So it, again, it's the NFL. You're going to have your good days. You're going to have some bad days. And the referees aren't going to pick on you, Anthony Brown. But, hey, that's how the life of an NFL kind of works, you know. Uh, but anyways, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate everybody's support. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil, and don't forget to always ring that bell.